Hello, I'm Dr. Sasha Goodman, Chief Investment Officer, Co-Founder and Portfolio Manager of EATV, a fund focused on the food and material systems transformation. To view this presentation and the most recent performance charts, visit eatvetf.com. The EATV fund aligns with the goal of limiting the average global temperature increase to below 1.5 degrees centigrade above pre-industrial levels. It's rated at 1.18, and this is crucial as it helps mitigate regulatory and legal risks for companies in the fund as governments worldwide enforce more stringent climate policies. The IPCC, representing a scientific consensus of over 195 countries, says global temperatures above 2 pose risks to human life as we know it on Earth, with severe consequences such as extreme weather events, rising sea levels, flooding, and food shortages. In contrast, the S&P 500 index is on track for a 2.8 degree increase in global temperature, higher than EATV's 1.18, and well above the IPCC's 2 degree limit. Investing in EATV rather than the unsustainable S&P 500 index aligns with climate goals, reduces emissions, and helps steer clear of the catastrophic 2.8 degree global temperature increase that threatens our planet's future. EATV invests in diverse, high-growth global equities transforming food and materials. EATV is an ETF focused on food innovation and technology, aiming to deliver long-term growth of capital and alpha through a diverse portfolio of high-growth global public equities at low growth prices. EATV is diversified across sectors, supply chain stages, and market capitalizations, featuring a wide range of asset class sizes, countries, and categories. EATV is far from niche. EATV is quite diverse and represents many of the players in the imminent shifting food and material supply system. As of September 30th, 2024, consumer food and beverages represented 42% of the ETF with material innovations accounting for 18%. The ingredients and flavor technology categories captured business to business exposure and represents 22%, while ag tech is five and biotechnological advancements are at 10%. EatV is an exchange traded fund listed on the New York Stock Exchange, combining the benefits of a mutual fund with the tradability of stocks. This allows for convenient investment in a diversified portfolio, which can be bought and sold like an individual stock through a broker. ETFs like EATV often provide greater tax efficiency, as investors are usually not as exposed to capital gains on individual securities within the portfolio. Taxes instead occur when ETFs are sold or distribute dividends. By investing in EATV, you're supporting a climate positive investment while seizing the investment opportunity of participating in potential growth due to a system's change. Let me quickly guide you through EATV's strategy of providing a diversified portfolio of high growth global equities, many with low growth prices, providing a unique opportunity. The benefits of incorporating sustainable food and material solutions in your portfolio considering the ongoing systems transformation and the performance-oriented strategy and methodology. Next, EATV's carbon neutrality without relying on carbon credits and its potential to reduce the carbon footprint and global warming potential of your portfolio, and how EATV can complement your portfolio as an alternative to large cap and small cap indexes. EATV offers a diverse range of new and emerging technologies in a convenient, diversified package. Primarily, it invests in companies directly or indirectly involved in creating a nutritious, efficient, and sustainable food supply system, as well as material innovations that focus on eco-friendly alternatives. EATV spans traditional sectors like consumer staples and materials, encompassing categories such as ag tech, synthetic biology, ingredients and flavor technology, and consumer food and beverages. This ETF includes key players in the ecosystem behind the consumer brands, providing a comprehensive view of the industry. EATV's all-cap blend diversifies by incorporating small, mid, and large-cap companies, providing investors with exposure to a wide range of company sizes for both growth and stability. 
Mid and large caps comprise 56% of the fund, and small caps were 44% as of September 30th, 2024. Unlike large cap indices such as the S&P 500 with around 500 US-based companies or the NASDAQ 100 featuring about 100 large cap companies, EV's inclusion of 44% small and 22% mid-cap companies offers an appealing complement or alternative to the popular Russell 2000 index, which comprises around 2,000 small cap companies. EatV offers diversification across countries. EatV invests globally, reducing regional risks with 43% of its companies located outside the United States. Many U.S. domiciled holdings also generate income overseas, further diversifying the fund. This approach can potentially mitigate the negative impact of events that disproportionately affect one region, such as regional financial industry weakness. Geographical diversification also lowers institutional and geopolitical risks. EatV holds over 35 companies, focusing on leaders across the plant-based innovation supply chain. Let's briefly explore a few of the diverse holdings. Consumer staples companies produce popular foods like fruits, vegetables, and proteins. For example, Synopta creates plant-based soy, almond, and oat milks, catering to the lactose intolerant market. Approximately 68% of the world's population suffers from dairy lactose malabsorption, and Synopta addresses this demand. Other notable holdings with strong exposure to plant-based dairy include Oatly. Business-to-business players sell ingredients for plant-based dairy as well as raw materials for plant-based meat that other businesses can use. Ingredion serves both private and public companies, so this means they can potentially benefit no matter who wins over consumers. Ingredion distributes plant-based ingredients to over 120 countries, investing over $250 million in plant-based protein to date. In 2022, their net sales from plant-based protein reached $36 million, up 118% from the prior year. Material innovations are vital for sustainable supply systems. Consumer discretionary companies like Crocs incorporate plant-based, bio-based polymers into their durable shoes. Material innovations include cosmetics, catering to consumer preferences for cruelty-free and healthier products. Elf Beauty, a consumer staple, has gained shelf space with its affordable, high-quality offerings. The company focuses on clean beauty, restricting over 1,600 ingredients. They capitalize on the low cost of plant-based oils, emollients, and extracts that appeal to value-oriented customers. So why invest in these companies now? Well, technology tends to follow an S-curve, starting slowly, then accelerating as it reaches a tipping point of widespread adoption. By investing early in a long-term technological trend, you may potentially capture significant value. Plant-based options have become much more common and varied in supermarkets, with growth seen in plant-based dairy, eggs, and ready-to-drink beverages in 2022 alone. Restaurants and food service in hospitals, schools, universities, and corporate cafeterias are seeking to reduce healthcare costs, provide healthier options, meet consumer demand, and lower their carbon footprint. Younger consumers have adopted this eating pattern, with 79% of Gen Y and Z already eating plant-based meats. The plant-based protein market is expected to more than triple by 2030 and rapidly expand by 2035 based on research aggregated by Synthesis Capital. The plant-based protein market is currently around 1% to 2% of the protein market. A related trend is the demand for plant-based material innovations, as consumers seek cruelty-free and climate-friendly products. 71% of consumers said they consciously think about products and packaging made from plant-based materials when they are shopping, according to the Plant-Based Products Council. Alternative proteins are a relatively untapped investment opportunity given their ability to shrink greenhouse gas emissions. The Boston Consulting Group finds that investment in plant-based protein has 11 times the potential to mitigate greenhouse gases compared to light road transport, which electric vehicles aim to address. The ability of plant-based foods to mitigate climate change is supported by the IPCC which said in 2022 that the greatest shift potential would come from switching to plant-based diets. 
Further, they said, emerging technologies such as cellular fermentation, cultured meat, plant-based alternatives to animal-based food products, and controlled environment agriculture can bring substantial reduction in direct greenhouse gas emissions from food production. Plant-based materials have benefits as well. The Sustainable Apparel Coalition reported in their HIG Material Sustainability Index that pound for pound, plant-based materials have over double the greenhouse gas mitigation potential of wool, silk, and cow leather. Inside the Eat Bee Fund, we hold food innovation companies exhibiting high growth potential that are currently selling at low growth prices. There is an opportunity now to capitalize on market conditions that have lowered prices. As part of our strategy, we examine key financial metrics such as analyst consensus 12-month price targets and revenue growth, and in addition consider factors such as competitive advantage and moats. This comprehensive approach means we invest in companies that exhibit growth potential. The EV fund companies have a high 6.9% average revenue growth rate. Finally, in terms of value metrics such as enterprise value to sales, which is similar to price to sales but is meant to be more comprehensive and take into account debt and cash, the companies in the fund are selling at a discount with enterprise value to sales, price to sales, and price to book ratios at 1.8, 2.2, and 2.5, respectively. As we saw earlier, EatV has a number of holdings that are also small cap. In addition, EatV brings to the table the focus on food innovation and sustainable climate companies for upside and impact. In other words, EatV companies are undervalued and potentially offer the opportunity for upside. In addition, EatV's small cap exposure and stats make it a good alternative to the Russell 2000. We see this as an opportunity that won't last forever. The EatV investment methodology employs a systematic approach to weighing companies, analyzing performance data when assigning weights to companies in order to seek alpha. Drawing from a carefully monitored list of 300 potential companies, we filter by thematic relevance and analyst consensus performance expectations, selecting companies with either analyst price targets above the current market price or those with a competitive moat. Our trend following strategy also identifies and weighs stocks to capitalize on the continuance of existing market trends using momentum with the complementary drawdown risk mitigation step aimed at minimizing portfolio loss during downturns. The weighting tends to increase the position sizes of companies with higher risk-adjusted historical returns in the sector. The methodology mixes the momentum and risk aversion strategies during trades, which are typically done every quarter, aiming for long-term growth of capital. This price trend following component may particularly help with upside during a stronger economy. In recent reporting periods, the EB Fund demonstrated strong and resilient performance, outpacing our non-impact food index composite and climate positive index composite in the year-to-date period, one-year and two-year periods. As of September 30th, 2024, in the year-to-date period, EB was up 10.1%, while the climate positive index was down 3.5, and the non-impact food index composite was up 4.3. The non-impact food composite is the average performance of two indices. First, the Selective AgTech and Food Innovation Index, which is a price return index of companies in developed and emerging markets, expected to have exposure to ag tech and food innovation. And second, the Morningstar Global Food Innovation Index is a market cap index reflecting the price returns of global companies in the food innovation theme. The climate positive index composite averages the S&P Global Eco Index tracking 40 large public companies in ecology related industries and the S&P Global Clean Energy Select Index tracks 30 companies in the clean energy related field. Indices such as the S&P 500 are well known benchmarks. However, these do not specifically target food innovation, and sustainable climate companies like the EatV Fund does. They are not impact-focused. 
This unique focus positions EatV as an attractive option or supplementary investment for those seeking to diversify their small cap portfolio while also aligning with the sustainability and innovation initiatives. As mentioned earlier, the fund is certified as carbon neutral and is aligned with avoiding a two degree centigrade global increase in temperature. By investing in EatV, investors contribute to a global shift towards significantly reducing emissions. This alignment is crucial as it helps mitigate extreme weather events, rising sea levels, and food shortages, as well as regulatory and legal risks for companies in the fund, particularly as governments worldwide enforce more stringent climate policies. In contrast, the S&P 500 index is currently on track for a 2.8 degree centigrade increase in global temperature, which could affect companies' regulatory and legal risks that do business overseas. For example, the UK, the European Union, or China may tax carbon emissions or ban the sale of certain products that contribute to climate change. How can EV enhance your portfolio? In comparison to large cap and market cap weighted US indices, the EV fund's multi cap exposure to global plant based innovation enables the fund to capitalize on the increasing demand for sustainable food and materials. An advantage of investing in small cap and mid cap companies through EV is the potential for growth during an upturn. These smaller firms often operate in specialized markets or possess unique technologies, granting them a competitive advantage and the capacity to rapidly expand during economic upswings. By incorporating global companies at various stages of the supply chain, the EV fund aims to harness the growth potential of these smaller players while also diversifying risks across multiple market segments. The EV fund's emphasis on small and mid-cap companies positions it as a complement or alternative to the Russell 2000 index. By integrating a focus on innovative sectors and climate-positive firms, the EV fund offers a diversified and targeted approach to seize the growth potential of small but diverse companies that are part of the ETF. EatV, in fact, offers unique diversification, holding companies not found in major indices like the S&P 500 or Russell, all with impact potential. How can you buy? EatV can be easily acquired through a variety of popular brokers, including Fidelity, Charles Schwab, Merrill Edge, and Robinhood. Unlike a mutual fund, EatV operates similarly to a stock allowing you to place either market orders or limit orders where you can set your preferred price. Of course, please reach out to me personally at sasha at vegtechinvest.com if you would like any guidance on executing a trade efficiently. In summary, EatV represents a diversified portfolio of high growth global equities focused on plant-based innovation. This is a foundational element of the global food systems transformation moving towards greater efficiency and sustainability while seeking long-term growth and alpha. Investors can invest in the transformation of the food and material systems through a performance-oriented strategy. The fund is carbon neutral without relying on carbon credits, which can be meaningful and bring down your portfolio's carbon footprint. EatV serves as a complementary investment to large cap funds and an alternative to the traditional small cap indices like the Russell 2000. We are a boutique investment firm focused on impact investing and the food system shift and are happy to help you. If you're interested in setting up a time to discuss further, please let me know. I can always be reached at sasha at vegtechinvest.com. Thank you for your time. The fund's investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses must be considered carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contains this and other important information about the investment company, and it may be obtained by calling 1-424-237-8393, emailing info at vegtechinvest.com, or visiting eatv.vegtechinvest.com. Read it carefully before investing. ESG investing is defined as utilizing environmental, social, and governance, ESG standards, as a set of standards for a company's operations that socially conscious investors use to screen potential investments. The fund's policy of investing in companies as a means to promote positive climate change could cause the fund to perform differently compared to similar funds that do not have such a policy. Ethos performs an independent analysis of a fund's carbon footprint and carbon credits, offsets, 
to verify whether the fund is carbon neutral during a specified period. The period is typically quarterly, based on the previous quarter. The carbon footprint consists of verified Scope 1, Scope 2, and where possible, Scope 3 emissions of every holding of the fund. Ethos defines the carbon footprint of a fund as the total tons of Scope 1, Scope 2, and where possible, Scope 3 CO2 emissions of its holdings, multiplied by the fund's percentage ownership of those holdings. Percentage ownership is based on the market value of the fund's shares divided by the total market value of the holdings, averaging over the course of the specified period. Scope 3 emissions are included based on an assessment of the quality of reported Scope 3 data. Stocks of companies with small and mid-market capitalizations involve a higher degree of risk than investments in the broad-based equities market. The fund is newly organized and has a limited operating history to judge. The fund is non-diversified and may hold large positions in a small number of securities. A price change in any one of those securities may have a greater impact on the fund's share price than if it were diversified. Quasar is a subsidiary of the group of companies doing business as ACA Group as an, and is an affiliate of Ethos ESG. Neither Quasar nor any of its directors, officers, or staff are involved in Ethos ESG's certification process or pay for accreditation, nor does Ethos ESG consider affiliation as part of its certification analysis. Indexes track an underlying basket of securities. The S&P 500 tracks 500 large companies on U.S. exchanges. The NASDAQ 100 index tracks around 100 companies on the tech-heavy NASDAQ exchange. The Dow Jones Index tracks 30 prominent companies in U.S. exchanges, and the Russell 2000 tracks around 2,000 small-cap U.S. companies. Alpha is defined as returns compared to a benchmark such as an index. Beta refers to the volatility relative to a benchmark such as an index. The VegCheck ETF is distributed by Quasar Distributors, LLC. Enterprise value is how much a buyer would need to purchase a company and is market capitalization plus debt minus cash. The enterprise value sales ratio is the weighted median of enterprise value over yearly sales for fund positions. The performance data quoted represents past performance and is no guarantee of future results. Investment return and principal value of an investment will fluctuate so that an investor's shares, when redeemed, may be worth more or less than their original cost. Current performance may be lower or higher than the performance data quoted. For the most recent month-end performance, please call one 424-237-8393 424-237-8393 or visit the fund's website at eatvetf.com. As of 9:30:24, the fund's standardized one-year performance at market is 15.20% and at NAV is 15.07%. And the standardized performance since inception on 12:28:21 at market is -11.17% and that NAV is negative 11.25%. Performance of EATV takes into account the annual operating expense, which is 0.76%. The top 10 holdings as of 9.30.24 are Dole at 8.55%, Givaudan at 6.19%, Corbion at 5.73%, Fresh Delmont Produce at 5.48%, Ingredion at 4.89%, Mission Produce at 4.55%, Novonesis at 4.55%, Crocs at 4.52%, On Holdings at 4.46%, and Limonera at 4.39%.